Luxury automobiles were the pinnacle of the automotive industry 25 years ago, the go-to mode of transportation for people who had attained a certain level of success. Large SUVs have largely replaced traditional luxury sedans in the modern world, but few of those behemoths can match a traditional luxury sedan's grace, understated elegance, and distinguished pedigree. Luxury vehicles are more refined than ever thanks to decades of engineering advancement, and many of them can cut and run with maneuvers that are on par with those of sports cars. We used our five standard criteria, detailed at the bottom of the list, as well as the caliber of the materials and level of craftsmanship, brand purity and pedigree, and available tech, performance, and luxury features to create this elite group. In this video, we'll see seven of the world's most luxurious flagship sedans. At number seven, we have Lexus LS. The Lexus LS, now in its fifth generation, is more luxurious than ever. While the V8 engine is no longer available, it remains one of the best large luxury sedans on the market. It may not have the same pedigree as German executive sedans, but it's unquestionably one of the most eye-catching vehicles in the segment. The LS is available with a variety of V6 engines, the most powerful of which is the LS500H, which has a 3.5-liter naturally aspirated V6 and two electric motors. Compared to the 409 horsepower of the standard LS500, the combined output is 354 horsepower. The LS500H is equipped with a clever CVT transmission that has four real physical gears and six virtual ones in an effort to increase efficiency and reduce emissions. Number 6. Genesis G90 Korea's attempt to compete with Germany at their own game is the Genesis G90. Standard and long wheelbase trims of the G90 are both offered. Both vehicles have the same 3.5-liter twin-turbo V6, but the long wheelbase model comes standard with all-wheel drive and a 48-volt mild hybrid system. The long wheelbase has 20 more horsepower and 15 more torque than the standard trim, totaling 409 horsepower and 405 pound-feet. The G90 shares striking styling with the Lexus LS, and Genesis' new design language is among the best currently available. The G90 offers excellent value for money because it includes many of the German competitors' original features as standard equipment at a lower overall cost. Number 5. Mercedes-Benz EQS Mercedes's first attempt at a high-end EV saloon isn't without ambition, as evidenced by its swoopy coupe-style styling and the availability of a powerful 751 bhp dual-motor combination. It has the endurance you would anticipate for a long-distance limousine, too with a claimed range just north of 350 miles, thanks to a sizable 107.8 kWh battery. The interior is also very roomy, and while the high-quality fixtures and fittings may not be up to the brand's S-Class standards, the expansive hyperscreen digital dashboard option makes a statement even if it isn't the simplest to use. Performance is astounding, as expected, with even the lesser 649 bhp version we tested achieving 0 to 60 mph in 3.6 seconds and more impressively achieving 30 to 70 mph in 2.8 seconds with low noise levels and a smooth air suspended ride it is also refined and comfortable when traveling at speed strangely the car's inconsistent low speed ride and suspension can be heard working over the scarred urban topography undercut its luxury credentials the Mercedes is incredibly quick in a straight line and stable through corners, but the driver feedback isn't very customizable. You essentially just point and squirt. The Mercedes EQS is a great first attempt at a luxury EV, but it can't yet match the hushed opulence that the company's S-Class has established as its trademark. Furthermore, it makes more sense in entry-level 450-plus guys than pseudo-sporty AMG trim, given that it isn't really a satisfying steer in the traditional sense. And number 4. Mercedes Maybach S-Class The Mercedes Maybach S-Class is the current standard bearer for Daimler's Maybach super luxury brand. It's the most expensive and special vehicle in what may be the most universally respected and admired limousine range in the world. According to outward appearances, you may mistake it for an S-Class as opposed to a Maybach. This is the result of Daimler's strategic decision, made a few years ago to expand the brand's appeal to adding Halo Maybach models to some of its more mainstream Mercedes passenger car lineups. The extremely rare, Simon Cowell designed Maybach 57 and 62 limousines were simultaneously co-signed to Oblivion. Therefore, this car's only status as an S-Class may be both its greatest asset and its biggest weakness. A Rolls-Royce or a Bentley might have more drool-worthy curb appeal so an S-Class might not quite measure up. 
However, because it's an S-Class, the car is also equipped with all the latest suspension and driver assistance technologies, which contribute to its brilliantly refined, luxurious, and cozy feel. The 603 bhp twin turbocharged petrol v12 in the flagship s650 model is hardly audible and it exhibits an outstanding commitment to comfort and decency even the longest legged passengers will have plenty of room thanks to the additional 18 centimeters in length over the standard s-class's long wheelbase model at number three bentley flying spur speed Starting out as the Continental Flying Spur in 2006, Bentley's four-door Continental Series limousine only dropped the nomenclature prefix that links it to Cruise's current two-door GT with its most significant model update to date in 2014. But it's easy to tell that the Flying Spur is now in its third generation by looking at the prouder, more muscular design, which heavily imitates the most recent, attractive Continental GT Coupe. A new platform that was co-developed with Porsche and uses four-wheel steering and active anti-roll bars greatly enhances the performance of Cruz Junior Saloon as well. Additionally, it improves the cabin's separation from the road and lays the groundwork for generally good driving dynamics. Steering, balance, and grip are all noticeably better. Of course, the 6.0-liter twin-turbo W12 is still there, producing the same 626 horsepower and limitless torque to propel the vehicle to 62 mph in just under 4 seconds and on to a top speed of more than 200 mph. There are also versions of the Spur available with the 6-cylinder Flying Spur hybrid engine and Bentley's lighter, more freely revving V8. The latter is more suited to the large Bentley, whose almost silent movement in EV mode provides a somber sense of calm when mooching. However, when its V6 engine kicks in, it's almost as quick as the V8, despite lacking the engine's personality. And number 2. Rolls-Royce Ghost When the Ghost debuted in 2009, Rolls-Royce drew a line in the sand. It was the start of a transformation that increased the company's annual production volume from a few hundred cars to several thousand. The Phantom's heir apparent has significantly changed as it enters its second generation. Previously adapted from the BMW 7 Series' mechanical underpinnings, the Ghost now shares the Cullinan and Phantom's architecture of luxury platform. Other innovations help to bring ride quality even closer to that of the Phantom, such as Rolls-Royce's mass dampers for the front suspension and an active anti-roll bar for the rear axle. The Ghost was designed as a car for the wealthy driver, and its dynamic character reflects that, whereas the Phantom is very much a car to be driven. It lends itself more readily to the cut and thrust of daily driving on congested UK roads than the Phantom because it rides slightly more tautly and is more agile. And yet, the car adopts Rolls-Royce's new, post-opulence design approach both inside and out, placing it only the slightest rung below its larger brother in terms of interior space, luxury ambiance, and sheer material quality. Neoclassical fortress on wheels, but one that can be used. At number 1, we have Rolls-Royce Phantom. In 2017, Rolls-Royce replaced the grandest and most opulent luxury vehicle in motoring. Shortly after, our road testers welcomed it with a glittering 5-star road test. The extravagant declaration of wealth and status, as well as the unparalleled sense of occasion you experience when riding in one, will make owners adore it just as much. The most recent Phantom is also an absolute joy and a rare pleasure to drive, though many people won't ever realize this. Although Rolls-Royce has fitted the newest run-flat tire technology, the ride comfort is still supremely quiet and smooth, making it unlike anything else you will experience in a car. Its supreme comfort and singularly isolating ride comfort can be sampled from the back seats, of course. However, the car's large-rimmed steering wheel's precision, feel, and perfect weight ease with which you can park such a large vehicle, tolerance for whatever speed suits your trip, supreme refinement and adaptability of its V12 engine and progressiveness of its throttle pedal on step-off are all remarkable. Although it weighs almost 3 tons, this car accelerates from 0 to 100 mph and from 30 to 70 mph through the gears more quickly than the previous Ford Focus RS. Its engineering integrity is simply breathtaking. Hope the video was informative. Share with us your dream car in the comment section. Don't forget to hit the like button, and if you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, make sure you do before you leave. See you soon on our next video. Hasta la vista!